I'm Ian Somerville and in this video I'm going to be talking about a cyber security incident which happened in Australia and which led to the failure of a critical infrastructure system. The incident happened in a part of Australia called Maroochyshire, a beautiful area in Australia's Gold Coast about 100 kilometres to the north of Brisbane. In 1999, the District Council in Maroochyshire installed a new SCADA controlled sewage system with 142 pumps spread over an area of more than 1,000 square kilometres. In 2000, this sewage system started going wrong. It had a series of unexplained failures, 47 altogether, which caused extensive sewage spillage into parks, into waterways and into the grounds of a hotel. This is a typical SCADA setup for a sewage system. There's a control box, weatherproof, which contains all of the electronics and underground there's the pumps on the system which are controlled by these electronics. <clears throat> the local system communicates with the central control room and in Maroochyshire, because it's over such a wide area, it didn't use fixed landlines to do this, but used radio communications. There was a special purpose control computer at each station, which controlled the valves and alarms. At the central control centre, operators monitored the operation of the pumping station, responded to alarms and issued commands to change the state of the system. These were sent over the radio link, which in this case was an open link, which wasn't encrypted in any way. What happened in Maroochyshire was that there were unexplained failures of the system, which led to large scale, large -scale discharges of sewage. Over a million litres of untreated sewage were discharged, and you can imagine how horrible the smell would be. The technical problems that occurred were that the pumps didn't operate when they should have been operating. The alarms failed to indicate that the pumps were not operating and sometimes it was impossible to communicate with each of the pumping stations. It turned out that this was an, an insider attack. VTEC Bowden had been an employee of Hunter Watertech and was responsible or at least was involved in installing the SCADA system for the <coughs> Maroochyshire sewage system. He had some disagreement with his employers and he left in 1999. At that stage, he tried to get a job with the council, I guess, trying to emphasise his knowledge of the system, but this was refused. Bowdoin was angry and he decided to try and get revenge on both Hunter Watertech and on the local council by causing system failures. What he hoped was that bugs that what he hoped was that Hunter Watertech would get the blame for these failures because of failures in the system. Now there's an important lesson here. I've talked before about insider attacks, but in this case, the insider wasn't actually inside the organization. So insiders can be contractors or from other companies who have got specialized knowledge of the system. What happened was that Bowden used his knowledge of the system to reconfigure the pumping stations and cause failures. He could do this because the radio communications were insecure. Before he left Hunter Watertech, Bowden stole a program which could run either on his computer or on a stolen computer, that's not really clear, uh, which could reconfigure the SCADA systems. He also stole the appropriate radio equipment which allowed him to communicate with the pumping stations in issue commands which caused these to reconfigure themselves and to fail uh, or to fail to respond to, con to commands from the central control system. Initially, the problems were thought to be due to bugs in the control system, essentially what Bowdoin hoped would happen. But the employees of the council were very suspicious of this and they, they, they introduced a logging and monitoring system which discovered that all of the commands came from a controller or a, control, a system control ID which was the same on every occasion. So they reconfigured the system so that this particular pumping station ID was not used. 
incidents continue to happen with this ID. So that led them to know that this was a malicious attack rather than problems with the system or accidental failures. Bowden fell under suspicion because he was a disgruntled employee and obviously it had a bit of a bad reputation with the company and with the council and he was put under surveillance. After a number of, uh, after a series of attacks, Bowden's car was stopped and the stolen equipment was discovered. Now, obviously this was a, a criminal offence, but it was only possible because of other system failures problems with security in the SCADA system. There were no security requirements in the contract with the customer. So therefore, Hunter Watertech had not installed any security whatsoever. There was no requirement for authentication before commands were issued. The procedures at the company were inadequate. They didn't know that the equipment had been stolen and the radio links were insecure. It wasn't possible to, or rather, it was possible to communicate using any kind of radio equipment to communicate without any kind of authentication or encryption. Initially, there was no logging and monitoring in the system, which made it more dis difficult to discover the causes of the attacks. Staff had been given no training in cybersecurity or, or how to recognise a cyber attack. I guess this was kind of understandable because in 1999, issues of cybersecurity were not really a major problem. And there was no incident response plan available at Maruchishar Council. Now, I don't really know whether this means there was no plan to respond to failures of a SCADA system or if there was no plan to respond to sewage spills. I'm pretty sure there must have been a plan to respond to sewage spills themselves as <clears throat> These are things that happen because of equipment failure and so on, not just because of malicious attacks. Vitek Bowden was convicted of 26 separate offences and he was jailed for two years. You can find out more about the Marucci incident at these URLs. The slides are available on SlideShare and my account.